Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm going to do a, some resin stuff on this 15 inch Lazy Susan. This color is Blue Moon from Color Art. This is resin art pigments, not primary elements. And I'm about to, I'm showing you all of these because they're beautiful colors, um, but you'll see that I end up covering a lot of them up. This next color is Pomegranate, also resin art. It's an amazing color. The camera makes it look more red, but the different color sparkles in there are really gorgeous. And this next up color is Butterscotch. It's a really buttery gold from Resin Art. It's really gorgeous. And don't forget, I have a discount code in the description box that will save you 20% off. And there is a two brand new resin art sets out as well. Some of these come from those that set. And this is, I think this is called Spice Ginger from Resin Art. Gorgeous color. And um, I did spray paint the Lazy Susan with a flat black spray paint. And I taped up the bottom. The It's 15 inches from Ikea. And this is Midas. This is a bling it color. So you can use this in acrylic or in resin. Um, but it's like a gold and red color. And this is Shooting Star. This also can be used in resin or in acrylic pouring. And lastly is Aurora, which is part of the Bling It line and can be used in acrylic pouring or in resin. And it's like um, almost like a gray pearl with a red shift. It's really, really pretty. Um, I used too many colors, but I'm going to show you kind of how I got there. I wanted you to see the colors anyway. Okay, so I significantly sped this up because I really messed this part up. So I have a layer of resin down. Um, I first put down the blue moon and the, the aurora and then the pomegranate and I was basically trying to cover the surface and then I put down the spice ginger. Um, I was not using a very flowy resin and so although I mixed eight ounces, which is enough to cover the surface, it's not really enough to cover it in like um, a good way. So I really needed to mix up more. So I sped, I saw this happening and I was like, this is going to be a disaster. And I was like, just keep going. You can always mix up more resin and cover it up. So I'm just kind of uh, moving things around with the heat gun. So I mixed up more resin because I was like, I got to do something with this. And so I just poured larger um, kind of ribbons of the pomegranate and the, the blue moon. I didn't show you in the beginning, but I also mixed up some of the um, the liquid gold. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I, I ribboned it across and kind of blew it around. So it does end up interacting a little bit when I blow this around. I was using up some of my faux Rizzle Nouveau that I have had for a long time, which is a thicker resin. It's not, it's not a bad resin, but if you're trying to create a resin piece, it's not going to flow. It's very thick. So if you're trying to do geodes or something, that's okay because it'll, it'll stay in its place a little bit better. Um, but if you're trying to create big lines of color, you're going to have to use a lot more resin just because it's, it's thicker. So anyway, I'm primarily at this point using, um, those two colors because obviously everything else is a little too busy. Um, so I'm just moving it around with my heat gun. Those colors are spectacular. Pomegranate looks more red on camera here, um, but it's kind of a, 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 a red violet type color. Um, and it's got spectacular color shimmer in it. Um, it's really, really beautiful. So what's probably difficult to see is that liquid gold because it's, it's kind of a heavy like spray paint type metallic it's sort of interacting when I blow this around like um, like an alcohol ink would the way it's um, moving around so anyway um, this was my way of trying to redeem it and although 
It doesn't end up being exactly what I intended. Um, it turns out a lot more beautiful than huh, what it was. I mean, the colors were spectacular, but way too busy. And so anyway, so part of this was I wanted to play with resin art pigments. I haven't done a resin art piece in a long time, and you can tell I'm a little rusty. But um, so I put some more pomegranate down, and I'm kind of running it in ribbons trying to fix the composition a little bit. I mean, there's not really a lot of composition in this piece. It's sort of just a resin piece, but I'm also adding some Midas, which is that bling it color, and it's kind of a interference gold red sparkle combination. It's really pretty. Um, I was trying to not make it look too busy, um, but I, I thought it was a nice kind of a sparkle touch. I have to stop thinking I'm doing like cups and stuff where I can use small things to drizzle on bigger pieces. That's part of my problem is I've, I do a lot of cups and vases and stuff where if you start off small, you know, the gravity of the turning of the cup changes the, the dynamic a little bit. So, so anyway, I end up coming in with more of the blue moon and uh, the pomegranate and just kind of cleaning them up a little bit. I did overwork part of it, but it still dried really beautifully. And I was tempted to go in and do another layer. My husband told me it's pretty and I should just leave it alone. So I'm going to listen to him. All right, so now I'm just moving it around with the heat gun a little bit just to blend it. Sorry about my dog, she's walking around. So I'm just blending it in a couple of places. Um, again, in some places I had streaks that were a little too narrow. So I'm just trying to kind of blend where it makes sense and spread out some of the color where it makes sense. Sorry about my voice. I'm sick right now so <laughs> my dog is making so many weird noises hopefully y'all can't hear them but it's so hard to capture how beautiful these colors really are um just because resin has so much of a glare all right so now i'm just taking a little bit more of the pomegranate I'm trying to, to kind of bring some some color where there's just a lot of the blue or maybe there's more muddy color just trying to put some finishing touches on it there and uh, these colors are just gorgeous um, it was, it's so hard to narrow it down and pick colors because they're all so beautiful. And I'm doing the same thing with the blue, just trying to kind of outline some edges that are kind of fuzzy. I didn't speed this up very much, this part. Um, obviously, I sped up the, the chaotic part. So again, just by now, this thing has like so much resin on it. You wouldn't even believe how much resin this 15-inch round has by the time I try to clean up all my mess. Um, so if you do use like an art resin calculator or whatever, when you're calculate, calculating how much resin to use, just realize you probably need a little bit of a buffer if you're going to be pouring resin versus spreading it with a glove. And um, that was part of my snafu with this was um, using a thicker resin I need to keep in mind that if I want it to spread out and all of that stuff, I'm going to have to use a little bit more. But anyway, um, still turns out really beautiful. Um, just kind of gently hitting it with the heat gun um, just to move around what I just laid down. And just kind of that last little tilt I did I shouldn't have done that because some of the resin was a little bit too hot in a couple of areas 
and I lost some of the cleaner lines I really liked. Um, but what's done is done, right? There's not much you can do about it at that point. So I just basically kind of made a couple of final touches and uh, just made sure I was pretty happy with the way it was. So when I bring you in for the close-up, you'll be able to see how beautiful the colors are. Um, but yeah, this is not my most amazing resin art experience. Um, usually what I create with resin is a little bit more in line with what I had in mind. But um, I still love the colors. And, you know, I need to, I need to do like abstract resin stuff more often because I really enjoy it. I just don't always take the time to do resin because I have such limited time. But um, you got to check out this, um, the new resin art set that's out. I'll put the links in, in the description box below along with my discount code for color art. And um, I mean, the resin art pigments are amazing. So if you enjoy resin art and you enjoy like using beautiful sparkly pigments in your resin. Uh, I love them on tumblers and bases and that kind of stuff. So um, they're really beautiful in abstract pieces as well. So I'll bring you in for a close up shortly. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. All right, everyone. So here's our close up. You can see how beautiful those colors are. And even though pomegranate looks more red you can see it's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's, um, again, it's more of a red violet than just red. It has a lot of beautiful color in it. So yeah, I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed this little experiment. Again, sorry about my voice. I am sick, so um, that's also why I haven't had a video out this week. So don't forget to check out the discount codes below and check out the resin art pigments. Um, also, all the discounts in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.